What is going on, everybody? Time to make some joining one here. We are back at it again with some more unordinary content, and oh my god, I can't wait to see what we have in Agwin, dude. I've been, I've been saying, I've been saying, I want to see this shit since like the first season, and we're finally getting it. I, I hope we see some characters from Agwin. I hope it's just not like a, some type of intermission type shit, because if it is, I'm gonna be mad pissed. But um. Before we go ahead and get started, uh, I got some merch in the description below. Make sure to check that out. Most of the money will go to the channel and creating future videos. Also, with that stated, um, I'm also going to be doing Stray Light Tiger reactions. I kind of skipped out last week because it literally went past my mind. But this week, we're definitely getting like episode one through what we're on now. Six. I know seven tomorrow. So, yeah, like we're going to get most of those videos like we're going to spend them like tomorrow and Friday. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But uh, without further ado, cue the intro. Oh, so good to have an intro back. I it's temporary, but it it will do. It will most certainly do for right now. But um, let's see. Hillfor Park, Agwin. Yo, John, low key on that stalkerish type shit right now. I'm like, I'm not even gonna cap. <laughs> Bro, it's, it's like I'm playing like one of them Hitman games. Like, you over here just staring like you just out in the wide fucking open. Yo, yo let me let me hide real quick, bro. That, that's exactly what's going on right now. Like, we're playing like one of them um, Call of Duty games. He's like, pause. Go, go, go. Like, that, this is what I'm getting right now. Like, man's on that, um, secret agent, uh, 007 type shit right now, bro. <laughs> wow, episode 243. That's how he's starting off. Caden. That's what his name was. I almost say, like, Kyle or some shit like that. Dude, dude, man. Yo, is this low-key me and Earl Chan just ain't say nothing? Like I, I got the headphones. I would wear a fit like that. I would I would just literally just sit here on like one of the school benches just like Caden. There, there you are. Man, even take all the same headphones the same way I do. Era, let me find let me find out. You you already confirmed jokers are slightly canon. Let me find out. <laughs> You're looking pretty fancy today. Ah thanks, not bad yourself, miss. I just did a formal presentation for my professors. How'd that go? Pretty sure I aced it. Oh no, smudge! <laughs> oh, I want to hear what they're saying. What the hell? Is this a date? This clown, yo! Someone get this clown! Yo, get this dude! Like some, someone come get this man! Man, homie, <sighs> homie looks like a whole college student. Man, just like, is this a date? I mean, I I see some high schoolers date college students, but at the same time, it's just like, bro, that's the first thing you go to. That's why he's been so busy lately, because he's seeing someone? You're partially correct, but not the reason why. She did it, okay. Now shut up, this isn't a damn joke. Bro, when Arlo said that shit, dude. <laughs> he got balls. He like, you got me all worked up over this? Arlo, you fucking liar. Some things never change. <laughs> I like how you I made it like, yo, Arlo, this is your fault. Who the hell is this guy anyway? How come I never seen him before? He looks older. When did he and Sarah even meet? How did they know each other? And why would Sarah, Sarah try to hide this from me? She's trying to protect you. Like John, I'm, I'm, I'm. 
I want to root for you. I know you got average ass grades, but come on, use your damn common sense. You did this exact same shit to her because you were trying to hide your secret. Now Seraphina trying to hide her shit so she doesn't, so you don't get involved. And Johnny wants Seraphina involved in his shit. So technically speaking, roll her at first right now. Does he think I react badly? And goodness gracious, why everybody blowing my phone right now? So he doesn't trust me at all. So why are you call me up? Today was supposed to be your day off. Today was a day off. Did something happen? Uh, I'm not getting any better. Whenever I had to be my Billy, I just... Hmm, why does he just... Wait a sec. Something isn't right here. Yo, know, I'm, I'm, I'm low-key. I'm going low-key getting kind of out of here. Give me one second. Ah. There we go. Got to got to represent the My Hero trip, just so you guys know. Yeah, huge My Hero fan, but, um, let's continue. Okay, so we getting, um, flashback towards, uh, what happened the first time. Her aura. Why is it so much weaker than before? Hey, take it easy. Lena warned you, warned how delicate the recovery process would be, and you ignored her. <laughs> Damn. Well, it was a lousy warning. All right, all right. I'll bring you back to the lab, and we'll take a look at you. Hang tight, dude, bro. But seeing like it actually in action, seeing his teleportation in action, that that shit kind of clean, bro. Let me add an instant transition sound. Like editor, if you're looking at this, probably which is me. Yo, add an instant transition sound to this. Teleportation? <laughs> They're gone. Teleportation, of course they're gone! <laughs> Yo, oh my god, this this man's stupid! Hey, yeah, are you stupid? Man... Where did he take her? Well, it's in private high school. Safe house. So Arlo was telling the truth after all. <laughs> and you... <laughs> No, I need a drink. I had a feeling John about to do some hella dumb shit right now. I felt it. There was an inconsistency with Sarah's ability. And that guy she seen was And that guy she was with seemed to know about it. He took her away so casually as if it was routine. Oh, I just want some fucking answers. And you won't get your answers. Is that too much to ask? Yes. Um, excuse me, John? Evie! Uh, hi, I'm Evie. Uh, we are about to start another round of Texas Hold'em. It's a girl that Sarah hang out with a lot. Would you like to join us? Wait, you're, as you're asking me? <laughs> that, that, right? Uh, you don't have to, you want to. It's just, we heard you were a big fan of this game. How did, how did they hear about that? <laughs> what? <laughs> there's no way Seraphina was like, there's no way Seraphina like sat here and said anything about you. No. Did she? I gotta go back. <laughs> so we figured we'd invite you to play. Romain hides behind the card. Hmm? That's that kid from yesterday. Was this his idea? Okay, Remy's stretching. Can you believe it? He hasn't lost a single hand yet. <laughs> bro! What? <laughs> bro, what is this? Bro, fools were all scared of this man like a while, a while back. Like, literally, they were scared of this fool a while back. And they're just like, yo, this man has not lost a single hand. Yo, let me serve real quick. Yo, know, like, this remind me of the one time. Okay, 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 okay. I know I'm in the middle reaction, but story time. This remind me of the one time I think we just got out of something from a fraternity and like we went to the middle of our um field. Like they had like a giant circle in the middle of the field. And this remind me of the one time we sat here and did extreme rock paper scissors. And literally, this was me. This was me. Legs legs crossed. <laughs> I had my hands just like this. Like literally, 
This is exactly what's going on right now. Oh my god, the boy. Oh, shit! Oh shit, bruh. Oh my lord. That's what that remind me of. That's what that really remind me of. Man sat here, legs crossed, undefeated. Yo, know, man has man probably has that look in his eye, just like, bro, I wonder what this man about to do next. What are the chances he get the best cards every round? Hmm? No, you got it all wrong. You're not just about the cards. Is that he can easily read others based on their playstyle. But no one else can tell what he's thinking. Got 10 for. You know so much, why don't you play around? And get crushed? Hell no! Uh, and he got the face. That is the exact face I make. This is the uh, this is the exact face I make. When I sit here, I was like, bro, I know what you're about to do next. Like, this is a face when you know someone about to try to pull some funny shit. And you play something even funnier. To counter funny shit, bruh. Ah, I can't do this any longer. I'm out. You didn't need to fold. You could have tried to bluff your way through. Ah, there's no way I get away with it. John would have noticed. He's too good. It's fine. You two keep playing. Well, oh, okay. Dude, this isn't a look of the fi- Man. I'll get the boys in here sometime to tell you about that story of the stream rock paper scissors. Oh, I'm still undefeated. Scary. Maybe we shouldn't have invited him. Oh no. Um, I'm all in. He's desperate. He wants me to think he has a straight. Well, I know he doesn't. He sits upright and relaxes when rest. Ugh, fuck. He sits upright and relaxes his so shoulders when he's confident. But when he's unsure, he fiddles with his tie. Hey, yo! <laughs> his card must be decent if he's willing to give up the rest of his chips. 10 4. I bet he has a 2 pair. If that's the case, there's almost no chance he beats my hand. Once I call, he loses everything and I win. But. So what if I win? They're all rooting for him. If I want to integrate myself into the safe house. If I want to get to this trip, I'm gonna have to figure out and figure out what's going on with Sarah. Then it always can't be me versus them. <sighs> hey, yo, King Six. Yeah, that might be a hint. That might be a hint towards something. That might be a hint towards something. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm out. You win this round. Huh? Really? I, I won. Nice going, little dude. Yeah, that was impressive. I can't believe it. <laughs> I won. <laughs> you really hung in there. Congrats. Uh, he's not mad, is he? You played well. Thanks. You want to keep playing? Sure. Dude, my boy John making friends. My dude is making friends right now. Yo, this is development. Did John just give up, give in on purpose? Is he really trying to get along with everyone? Yes. Tomorrow's the day where we vote on whether he gets to join us on the trip. Could he have a chance to, after all? I will say this right now. I will say this right now. I called this shit. What was that? Three to four episodes ago. I was like, watch. They're going to be like, oh, they're going to let John go on this trip. In a moment, his troop is next week. Oh, shit. I'm... Man, he going on this trip. We all know damn well he's going on this damn trip. Unless Blake is like, oh no, don't let him go. But real talk, dude. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me go ahead and go into um the little uh post episode show. Well, I just realized something. I was already in the post episode show. Um, well, that happened. Uh, <laughs> yep, there's no way I'm larging this shit. But, um, overall, pretty decent chapter. We see John spy on Sarah being on that double, double 007 type shit. But when he realized, like, oh, who is this dude? Like, this man, this man was like, is he, is he seeing somebody? Hello? 
Man, I'm like, bro, my, my crush is getting away from me. I cannot allow this shit, man. Then when he saw um, the inconsistency with Seraphina's ability, yo, that shit. Then teleportation. This man has teleportation. Of course they're, of course they're gone, John. Of course, of course they're gone. Like, what do you, what do you think teleportation was? Like, man, man, about to get, man, man, make my brain hurt. It's a Wednesday. Teleportation. They're gone. Someone come get this fool. Loki, I actually do. I actually did like what happened with the safe house. I think that's a highlight of this chapter. Like, my boy John is over here making friends. Like, he sat here, played Texas Hold'em with Evie, and um, we don't know the other guy's name yet. But I can tell like they're gonna be his friends in the future. I, I can tell like Evie was scared to like bring this up with um John and that's natural but after playing with him I feel like they're gonna they're probably gonna become really close friends. Like how Sarah and Evie was when Seraphina was um powerless, I almost said quirkless. When Seraphina didn't have her ability. I feel like that's gonna be the same way. I feel like John's gonna have like his own group of friends and at this point probably move on from Seraphina. And I really had to be honest. I, I feel like Seraphina is John's Claire. And I I think John the Adrian is coming. Like I, I can see like the um the similarities and um the parallels to um what's about to happen here. But I'm not gonna lie, I really don't I really do hope John get like really close to these two, because they, they seem like cool side characters. And Uru, please, can we get a side story, side character story, please? Like, I'm, I'm interested in the background characters. But, um, not gonna lie, I feel like the card game has some type of meaning to it, other than, like, oh, John yeah, willing to give it all up. Because I'm, remember what happened last time we looked at the cards like this? You know we were wrong? You know we were freaking wrong? It was like, wait a second. Even though we were like somewhat close, we thought the cards meant something when actually they did. I feel like the playing cards now these mean something. So I'm I'm willing to see that through as like something else like legitimately like happens. But I actually do want to see John like integrate in the safe house. Like, I, I will wholeheartedly sit here and see that. But overall, enjoy the chapter. That's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Hit that like button. Hit the comment. And subscribe. Make sure to check out the merch in the description below. And I'll see you guys in Straight Light Tiger. Peace out.